Welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 review for your final. Uh, this is December of 2017, so if you're looking at this in a different year, these numbers over on the side might change, but if you still have this problem, you'll want to keep watching the video. This problem is just testing you on the idea of function notation. Function notation is very, very common in pretty much every type of high school math and college math as well, and it's really just an understanding of what the heck is happening. Usually, first they'll give you a rule. And what they've done is they have called their rule H. This is the name of the rule, right? And why do they use such a boring name? I don't know. If I were doing this, maybe I would call my rule cool math rule of x equals negative one half x plus three. This x tells you what the input variable is. It's the input, it's the thing you plug into the equation. It's telling you that what they've done here is in the cool math rule, we've plugged in the variable x and we got an answer, negative one half x plus three. All right, well, if I told you that I wanted you to tell me what happened when you plugged one into the cool math rule, then we would write that as the cool math rule of one is found by doing negative one half times one plus three. And if we do that math, we might as well finish it out. This becomes half of four, which has ended up being negative two. So it tells me that when I input one into this cool math rule, the answer is negative two, right? So we have our input, our answer. Now, of course, they weren't as cool as I was, so they didn't call their rule cool math rule. They called their rule h. And it says h of x equals negative one half x plus three. Find h of negative 29. So when we plug negative 29 into our formula or into our rule h, what is our answer going to be? Well, that's as simple as plugging in negative 29 in for x. Okay. Now, in order to do this, to take half of negative 29, you could easily do that on your calculator if you wanted. You could also keep this as fractions. We could say the answer to when negative 29 is plugged into h, maybe we'll put this over 1, negative times a negative is a positive, right? So h of negative 29 is found by doing 29 over 2 plus 3. Let's think of that as 3 over 1. And of course, in order to add fractions, we need common denominators, so I'll put a 2 on there. So h of negative 29 is 29 over 2 plus 6 over 2. So it tells us when we substitute negative 29 into our boring rule called h, we end up with 35 over 2, which seems to be a.